the United States have criticized Nigeria, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Russia, China, and many other countries over alleged violation of the freedom of religious rights of certain minorities within their territories. The U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, stated this while presenting the U.S. State Department 2020 International Religious Freedom Report on Wednesday, which was made available to reporters by the U.S. Embassy on Friday. The annual report to Congress on International Religious Freedom, the International Religious Freedom Report, describes the status of religious freedom in every country. The report covers government policies violating religious policy and practice of groups, religions, denominations, and individuals, and U.S. policies to promote religious freedom around the world. The U.S. Department of State submits the report in accordance with the International Religious Freedom Act of 1998. Blinken said, in Nigeria, courts continue to convict people of blasphemy, sentencing them to long-term imprisonment or even death. Yet, the government has still not brought anyone to justice for the military's massacre of hundreds of Shia Muslims in 2015. The report also said Iran continues to intimidate, harass, and arrest members of minority faith groups, including Baha'i Christians, Jew, Zoroastrians, Sunni, and Sufi Muslims. He noted that in Burma, the military corps leaders among those responsible for ethnic cleansing and other atrocities against Rohingya, most of who are Muslims and other religious and ethnic minorities around the world. In Russia, the report said authorities continue to harass, detain, and seize properties of Jehovah's Witnesses as well as members of Muslim minority group on the pretense of alleged extremism. Saudi Arabia remains the only country in the world without a Christian church, though there are more than a million Christians living in Saudi Arabia and authorities continue to jail human rights activists like Raif Badawi who was sentenced in 2014 to a decade in prison and a thousand lashes for speaking about his beliefs. And China broadly criminalized religious expression and continues to submit and commit crime against humanity and genocide against Muslims and members of other religious and ethnic minority groups the report said. Blinken also announced the designation of who he, a former office director of the so-called Central Leading Group Preventing and Dealing with Heretical Religions of Chengdu for his involvement in gross violation of human rights, namely the arbitrary detention of Falun Gong practitioner. Yunhe and his family are now ineligible for entry into the United States. What do you make of what you have heard? What do you make of this statement that has been made? We have heard the US has knocked Nigeria, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and other countries over the alleged rights violation. What do you make of this? We would like to see your thoughts and reaction to what has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions 
Let's know their thought about what we have heard. Rabiu reacted to this and said, You will see all these countries you mention are God sent. Stay away from them. Israel are stealing past Celestian lands and you see no complaint about it. You have heard what Rabiu have said that the U.S. have mentioned so many countries and this country you have mentioned they are God sent. They should stay away from them. What do you make of what Rabiu have said? What is your thought about this? Mbaka also reacted to this and his reaction was any religion that practices the sentencing and killing of people for blasphemy or any offense is an evil and devilish religion. Religion has to do with God who is the creator of everything on earth and has not granted unto any creature the right or duty to mete out such justice on fellow human beings. Nobody is righteous enough to be judged and punished others for whatever they consider an offense or sin against God. All those who hold such barbaric ideas of killing and jailing in the name of God are against an agent of evil. They are against God also. It is against international human rights of every individual for someone or group to arrest or judge or imprison or kill someone because of a religious offense against God. God is not weak or blind to need the help of filthy human beings in punishing offenses or sins against him in this life. If you disagree with me, please start with yourself or members of your family who offend God at least seven times a day in words, thought and deed, just hang yourself before punishing others. We have heard what Mbaka have said about this, that nobody has the right to punish anybody of any offense or sin against God. God is not weak or blind to see or does not have power over anyone to take responsibility by himself. Nobody has the right to help God in, you know, taking revenge. Nobody can take revenge for God. That is what Mbaka have said in his comment. And if you disagree, you don't need to start with anybody. You can just start with yourself or any members of your family who offend God at least seven times a day in words, in thoughts, even in their deed. Just you know, hang yourself before punishing others to know how it feels. That is what Umbaka have said. What do you make of this statement that you have had? What do you make of this that has been said? We have people who have reacted to this differently. People have supported God on this that you don't need to fight for God. God can fight for himself. You don't need to judge anybody because God has not given you the power to judge anybody you that are judging someone you are also a sinner so leave everything for god he is not weak to do it by himself we would like you to drop your comment about this we would like to know your reaction to this that has been said don't forget that the u.s has knocked nigeria iran saudi arabia and other countries over the alleged rights violation thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now